Welcome to EDC Journeys. If you enjoy the video, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing like the first 100 we just passed. Yay! What's going on, EDC people? We did it! If the balloon would turn... Done! Woo! We hit 100. It's pretty exciting, huh? Well, this is not the giveaway video quite yet. I Today is Saturday, October 3rd of 2020. Depending on when you're watching this, it may or may not be close to that time. Uh, here's some knives. I'm going to post a giveaway video either today or tomorrow explaining the exact details of what you need to do. And I think that we're going to do two winners. I think there's going to be a first place winner who will get a knife that uh, that I consider to be a nice EDC knife plus an extra knife. I don't know yet which one. Something like that. Maybe another one. Maybe three. I don't know. I have to figure that out. That's not important yet. And then the second place, just so that there's another winner, is going to get... Um, I do know which one it'll be, but I'm still not going to announce it because it, it'll it be a, a, a very EDCable knife. Um, and it just won't be the first place prize, okay? So the first place is obviously going to be the bigger win. Um, so we'll have two winners. I'm telling you that now. I'll also tell you that, um, you know, look if, look at these knives before you. If you were me, if you if you got to 100, how, how big is 100? What, what do you think first place and second place? What do you think is um, a worthy prize? What's a, what's a worthy first place prize? At, at least give me the the one you know what what would one decent EDC be for a first place prize for 100 subs I can tell you one rule already is going to be to be a subscriber so if you're not a subscriber now you might as well just subscribe and then hit the bell because if you do watch the giveaway video tonight or tomorrow when depending on when I post it and you win you want to be notified when I do the drawing so I'll give you the dates and all of that when I do the official giveaway video. Uh, I, I, it'll, again, it'll either be later tonight or tomorrow. I might record it tonight and post it tomorrow. I think that would be smart to start it on a Sunday. That's what I'm going to do. There's going to be one video, probably only one video, put up tomorrow because tomorrow I have to dedicate to moving the house around. We're switching three rooms around. It's going to be a big move. So, my plan would be to t tonight to record the giveaway video and have it set to be released for tomorrow. Uh, I'll figure out details like if it should be a week or two weeks. You know, it's only a hundred, so I want to give people time to see it. But if they, on the other hand, I don't want to wait so long that I'm getting random people that just subscribe to get a week. You know, I don't. I'm looking to give these to people who. Uh, obviously are subscribed and are interested in the channel. They're not just here for a prize. Okay. So yeah, so let me know down below. What do you think of a, f you know, tell me what you think a good prize would be. What would you expect if you won? What would you, what should I part with? Now, you know, there's obviously knives here that I can't give away yet, whether because they either A, they're part of my real collection, or I haven't had time enough time with them yet or whatever, but, so I'm not saying that these are all up for grabs, but what, you know, what, 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 what would be a first place prize for 100 subs? Give me an idea here. Give me some ideas. Alright. Now, to the point of this video. I recorded one yesterday I didn't post. It was about the TS-127. I haven't had a lot of time with it in pocket. I've had a lot of fidget time with it. It's definitely... Uh, been rainy here, rainy, windy, and terrible weather, so I haven't had a whole lot of time to play outside or do anything really to test this out besides just cut paper and some cardboard and to fidget with it. And I can tell you, it's fun to play with. You can middle finger flick it, as you know. And I gave all kind of stats, like the length and the weight, and I I'm going to delete the video. I'm going to wait and just do a real review of it like I should. And, um... 
uh, release it. Okay, but I can tell you, this was a gift from Chris, and um, the reason I'm showing it to you today, right now, is because it's made of 14C28N, and it just so happens it's the only other knife besides the Kershaw Leak that's 14C28N, and first of all, I did my first sharpening trial. You'll have to let me know how that is, if that looks good, or if I did a poor job on it. You know, obviously I nicked right there, which I can just cover up with Sharpie, I don't care. But, how's that look? Pretty good for the first time? Uh, I've got to sharpen this. It's 14C28N, so I need to sharpen this. I've been saying that, and I'm going to record it. I've been waiting to hear if it should be a long, or, you know, hear feedback from you, if, uh, if you want to see the short version or long version. But, in the meantime, something else has come up. What am I talking about? I'm talking about... Oh. Oops. Yeah, that was cool. Oop. Okay, well, i got to do it right for the camera. Come on. Okay. Right? CPM S110V. Definitely my, my I guess, it's highest quality steel, I guess you can say. Do you see that? I took a chip out of it. And I, and it was just the slightest I I I mean, I don't even want to do it again because I'm afraid to do it again, but it, like imagine me putting it into this bark and just poof, like that. So is it prying? No, not really, but, I mean, yes, but, oh, it wasn't anything hard. It wasn't like I stuck between two pieces of metal and tried to wedge something or do a screwdriver, and it just popped. It just chipped, just like that, and I heard it, and I go, oh, no. So now I've got to deal with the fact that, as a beginner, I have an S110V Manix that I love, because I've always liked the way the Manix was, and I just got a Manix to play with, and it's chipped, and I've got to deal with S110V, right? That's what's going through my head right now. So, I'm going to use the leak today to practice. Here's the videos that I'm going to do today. Here's what I'm going to record today, anyways, in my goal. My goal is to sharpen the leak. That'll get me warmed up and practiced. I will record that. That'll most likely be a quick version. Then I'm going to try this, and I don't know what lineup, or maybe I'll try this first, maybe I won't practice, maybe I'll just get right to it, instead of being fatigued. I'm not sure. All I know is that it's either going to be, you're going to see the leak and this, or I'm going to just jump right to this. Because I have to be able to start playing with this, especially, you know, Oh, that sucks. The only thing I could think about, think of, is Jason maybe didn't have it long enough to put enough edges on it to get past the fatigued steel from the heat treat um, from the factory. You know, I mean, he's got so many blades that I'm sure his selection, he didn't need to use this very often. I'm guessing that if he sharpened it, if he's had to sharpen it, it might have been once or twice, I don't know. Uh, but maybe I'm hoping that was just really fatigued steel and that by going through and putting a nice new fresh edge on hopefully once will we'll reveal fresh good steel and I hope I can do a good job on it with what I have for tools half of me wants to wait until I get a set of diamond stones but then I'm not going to touch this until it's fixed I know that I can tell you that right now why is that not say that Oh, it's okay. It's just the cam I'm looking through the camera. It looks different than... Um, so, yeah. So, that's my dilemma today. That's uh, This is just a quick update video because I do want you to know we hit 100. And I'm so happy. Hence the balloon. I mean, the balloon and everything. Okay, guys? Done. 
I want to get your thoughts on what a, one, a first place prize for 100, 100 subscribers, what, what, what you think it should be. You know, what's too much, what's too little, what's, what's just right. You know, the mama bear, papa bear thing. And second place, I've already got picked out because it's going to be, uh, it's going to be something specific. Um, but. Yeah, and just tell you know, just what what's one decent EDC, and and I've got other ideas of what to throw in with it. Um, but what's one good EDC that you see here that would be a a qualifying prize for a first place for a hundred subscribers? That's the question. And now you know what the day's plan is. It's either, oops, sorry, stupid tripod. It's either the leak, the Manix. Or both. So what you can let me know fast here, and by fast I mean like after I'm done shooting this, I'm gonna pick up this mess so that it doesn't not mess so this beauty, but uh, I'm gonna put it get it back in its role. And as you can see, I've got all my stones and liquids and waters. Yeah, I come outside. I bring a laptop. This is like an official work job. Uh, I've got all my stones ready to go. I just don't know. I wanted to stick to those three stones that um, I had been using, but I don't know that that's going to be the smartest idea for the S110V. Maybe it is. Maybe I should because that's what a normal person would have. No, you know, they're not going to have a huge selection. But then again, I do have better stones. Oh, now I'm just talking out loud, thinking out loud to you guys. Well, here we are. That's the status of where we are today. But look at this. You've got some nice, you know, and it's not necessarily about the like the retail value either. Some of these knives are just nice knives, and what would you like to get? And what would you be, you know, realistically? What what's a what's a good first place prize? You know, I I feel like it should be an EDC knife, a knife that's capable of being someone's new EDC. Maybe they're new to the journey, like, like I was not long ago that's that's kind of one one scenario I would like to see happen that would be awesome or it's another collector and they get a piece that they want or the a new different blade shape that they you know maybe maybe it's somebody that is really looking for a Warncliffe you know this was the one that I'm, I have for to hold me over till I get the TS1 oh my gosh I can't even remember the number right now I'm too, I'm too 195 um, the one I just had from Neve's Knives you know, but uh, hey, I can part with it if you guys think this is worthy of first place too. You know, it doesn't matter. I just need an I I need some ideas, and then with that, depending on what you guys say, I'm going to to add something. You know, at least at least something to it. Depends on what you guys say, though. <laughs> Depends on what the feedback is. Now. If you want to give me input on the recording videos, on the record, not the record, on the sharpening videos, whole sharpening, long video, fast sharpening, where I go, you know, zip through things and just kind of show you which one is gonna, which one would you like more? If you leave me, if I see any feedback before I get started, I'll do it that way. Otherwise, I'm just gonna record the whole thing and go from there. Boy, which one should I start with? I don't know. Should I start and practice? Or just jump into it? Should I wait and have the appropriate tool? I don't know. Okay, guys. We hit 100. Yeah! Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please give me a thumbs up. And for more content like this, consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. And to all of you who are currently subscribed and got me to 100, thank you so much. We can now start considering the giveaway prizes.